Now for the analysis of slider crank mechanism, so velocity and acceleration, let's consider slider crank mechanism shown in the figure. Uh, in this figure, P is the position of slider that is piston at any instant of time. L is the length of connecting rod. R is the crank radius. Okay? And this is our line of stroke, which is horizontal. So this horizontal is our line of stroke. Okay. Now, when the crank is at inner dead center position, that means the C dash, then the piston is at condition P dash or position P dash. This is the inner dead center position. Okay. The innermost position of piston, the piston is uh, doing reciprocating motion in an horizontal engine. So the innermost position, that means the position towards the cylinder head is called as the inner dead center and the outermost position of the piston is called as outer dead center. When the crank rotates and take a 110, 20, 180 degree revolution, this crank pin C reaches to this position C double dash. This position is called as outer dead center and your piston reaches in this condition at this point P double dash. Okay. So after every 180 degree revolution of crank, piston changes its direction of motion as in first 180 degree the piston is moving from inner dead center towards outer dead center when the theta that means angle of rotation of crank which is measured from the inner dead center location when theta is 0 to 180 degree then the piston is moving from left to right and when theta is 180 to 360 degree the piston is moving backwards from P double dash to P dash okay now at any certain instant of time if the when the theta value is theta if the crank is rotating with a constant angular speed omega then at any instant of time theta is equals to omega times of t that means the theta is the function of at any instant of time, if the value is theta, value is theta, then the piston is displaced by a value x from its inner dead center position. This is the displacement of piston when the crank is rotated by angle theta. That means this is the displacement of piston in time t. Okay, so x is displacement piston measured from inner dead center at any instant of time t when the crank turns the angle theta now this displacement x is by the geometry is given by p dash to p distance length represents p dash to p now this distance p dash to p can be written as o p dash minus o O P dash total length minus 
op this length so we get this distance displacement of the string so op dash minus op now when the piston is at this position p dash then its distance from the center of rotation of crank that means crankshaft axis is l plus r the position of conducting rod p c so o to c is your crank radius r and c to p is your connecting rod length l so op dash can be written as l plus r length of connecting rod plus crank radius minus op op can be written as now for to determine the value of op we'll use the geometry of figure geometry of this orientation we'll erase all the things geometry of this orientation here you can see two triangles one is this o p c this and the second one is c q o q c q o c okay. so these are the two triangles and this total op length can be written as sum of sum of pq plus q and the value of pq since this length is l the angle is phi remember phi is the angle of connecting rod with the line of a stroke so this is the base of triangle which is l cos phi similarly this length oq this radius is r so this base is equals to r and this is cos so here you can write l plus r minus l cos phi plus r cos theta so it is l minus l cos phi so l i am taking common it is 1 minus cos phi plus r taking common 1 minus cos of theta the fundamental relation between l r and this displacement x x is the displacement of piston at any instant of time measured from the inner dead center position now you can see here this is a trigonometric relation so trigonometric functions changes their signs the signs are changes definitely the direction of motion will also change the direction of motion also changes and we know that the direction of motion is changes after this distance d from p to p dash is left to right and from p dash double dash to p dash again right to left so it changes direction of motion continuously you can see it from here also now this is like this is the equation number now if you want to find the velocity relation then you have to differentiate this relation now in this relation theta and phi both are the functions of time but phi can be expressed in terms of theta so first we will replace this phi in terms of theta okay to do that we will move towards the further calculations say x is equals to l 1 minus cos of phi plus r 1 minus cos of theta this is our basic relation first i will take the r from this relation as constant if i am taking r as constant then i will get l by r 
1 minus cos of pi plus 1 minus cos of theta. Okay. Now, we'll move again towards this figure. In this figure, CQ, CQ, this line is common for both the triangles PCQ as well as COQ. So CQ is e as treated as the perpendicular of this triangle PCQ. So perpendicular can be written as the hypotenuse L sin pi and CQ is also perpendicular of the second triangle CQO. So it can be written as R sin of theta. So L by R equals to sin of theta divided by sin of pi. And this L by R ratio is denoted by N. So here we can write that x equals to r sin of theta by sin of pi 1 minus cos of pi plus 1 minus cos of theta in terms of this and this. But we have to replace this cos of pi and to replace this cos of pi we can directly write cos of pi as under root of sin square pi minus one sorry one minus sin square pi and sin square pi can be written as sin theta by n. So I will not do here. Here I will see right here simply r l by r ratio as n 1 minus cos of phi plus 1 minus cos of theta this and it as an equation 2. Now you know that this cos of pi is equals to under root of 1 minus sin square pi. And at the place of sin of pi from this previous page, I will take this relation copy paste here. This. So using this relation, I can write that sine of pi is equals to sine of theta by n. Remember that n is the ratio of length of connecting rod to the crank radius. In this relation, this is replaced by 1 minus sine of theta square by n square whole to the power under root can be written as to the power 1 by 2. Now we will expand this uh, relation by binomial expansion and we can write here that first term is as it is minus second term into the power so power is 1 by 2 second term is sin square theta by n square the third third term with plus with plus sign that is plus sign 1 by 2 power 1 less than power 1 by 2 minus 1 1 by 2 minus 1 into into sin sin square theta by n square second term whole square minus dot 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 since the 
sin theta by and this ratio is very small so its higher powers is also very very small so we can neglect the higher powers so after neglecting higher powers we can write here that not this cos of pi is equals to 1 minus 1 by 2 sin square theta by n square sin square theta by this is the basic relation of cos of pi. So from this relation, if I change this relation, then 1 minus cos of pi can be written as 1 by 2 sin square theta by n square is the equation number 3. If I substitute the value of 1 minus cos phi from this relation 3 into the relation 2, then the relation 2 becomes x equals to r n 1 minus cos phi at the place of 1 minus cos phi 1 by 2 sin square theta by n square is substituted plus 1 minus cos of this is the basic relation double relation of x At the place of 1 minus cos of pi, we substituted here at 1 by 2 sin square theta by n square. So after rearranging this equation, we proper manner r 1 minus cos of theta. This is in bracket, right after which the r is there plus sin square theta by 2n. The final relation of the displacement vector shows the displacement of the piston. Okay. Now, from this equation of displacement, the equation number 4, We can see here x depends on theta and theta is depends on time. The derivative of x with respect to time gives you the velocity. Now the velocity of piston at any instant of time is uh, vp is the time derivative of this displacement vector x and since x is not directly the function of t x depends on theta so we can write here a chain rule dx by d theta into d theta by dt and the theta by dt is the rate of change of the angular displacement of crank that is omega it is omega times of dx pi. I have to differentiate the value of x with respect to theta and substitute here, then I will get the equation of for the velocity of piston. So now let's determine the value of dx pi d theta previous equation. That means d theta of r times of 1 minus cos theta 
plus sine square theta by 2n. This is the value of x1 minus cos theta plus sine square theta by 2n. R1 minus cos theta plus sine square theta by 2n. So, R is taken as constant. Derivative of 1, which is already a constant, is 0. Minus differentiation of cos theta is with respect to theta is minus sine theta plus 1 by 2n is taken as constant, so it is not participating in differential. Sine square theta, the derivative of sine square theta is first is the power rule sine theta, and the derivative of sine theta with respect to theta is again cos theta. After solving this relation, you can write here r minus 1 is plus sine theta plus 2 sine theta cos theta that is sine of 2 theta by 2n. This is the relation of dx by dt. This is equation number 5 and this is equation number 6 by 5 and 6 we get the velocity of piston at any instant of time t is uh, omega r into sine theta plus sine 2 theta by n the equation of velocity of this is equation number seven. now if we further in, uh, differentiate this velocity equation with respect to time then we get the acceleration so on a uh, now the acceleration of piston at any instant given by e dp by dt but once again dp is the function of theta and theta is function of time so it is v d d p by d theta by chain rule d theta by d t and again theta by d t is omega so it is d v p by the acceleration of piston acceleration of piston equals to omega times of d v p by d t that is the equation number 8. Now we will find dvp by the differentiating equation. Omega r as a constant, sin theta as a minus cos theta. So sin theta has a derivative cos theta. Omega r, sin theta as a derivative cos theta plus sin 2 theta as a derivative cos of 2 theta into 2 by 2n remains as so d vp by d theta is equals to omega r cos theta plus cos of 2 theta by n Now, if I substitute the value of dvp by d theta in equation 8 by equation 8 and 
time and write here the acceleration of piston is equals to omega square r cos of theta plus cos of 2 theta by n equation number 10 which is the required solution. So this is the acceleration equation. This four gives me displacement equation. Time gives me there are the three important equations from the above derivations. Displacement, velocity, and acceleration. I think we we'll understand derivation in what manner we are determining acceleration and uh, velocity. Of velocity. Now some values of acceleration at theta equal to 0 and 180 degree given here. When the crank is at inner dead center, then theta is equal to 0. So acceleration, when I substitute the value of theta as 0 here, is given by this relation. And when the crank is at outer dead center, that is uh, when theta is 180 degree, then the value of AP is given by this relation. As the direction of motion is reversed at outer dead center, so the sign of acceleration is changed. These are the relations of the acceleration for some spatial cases for theta equal to 0 degree and theta equal to 180 degree. Now we will see the velocity and acceleration of the connecting rod. We know that the connecting rod makes an angle alpha, sorry, the connecting rod makes an angle phi at any instant of time with respect to this length of stone. The angular acceleration uh, and angular velocity of connecting rod is given by the rate of change of this phi with respect to time. And if I differentiate this phi with respect to time, I get this relation 1, equation 1 as the angular velocity of connecting rod. Connecting rod is denoted by letter PC here in our picture and this PC is our connecting rod. And alpha PC is the angular acceleration of connecting rod which is given by this relation. Now in this relation we can take some assumptions that for example sin square theta is very small as compared to n squares if for in both relations sin square theta n square minus sin square theta is equivalent to the n square. If I replace, apply this particular assumption here that I am neglecting the value of sin square theta as compared to n square, then I get these two relations for angular velocity and angular acceleration. And in this relation, this unity that one is negligible 
as compared to n square. So if I neglect this one and write n square minus one is approximately equal, equal to be n square, then it is n and cancel out and I get this relation. So we will use this relation after neglecting after most of the appro approximations for the uh, angular uh, acceleration and this relation for the angular velocity. You can also use these relations. Uh, variations in your answers are very very small but these relations are uh, lengthy to memorize okay so these are the velocity and acceleration analysis of connecting rod as well as the piston if you have any doubt or query related to this session you can contact us thank you